What's up guys, welcome back to Jungle, back to another video. And in today's video, we are with the E92 M3 and I figured we might as well take it out for a small little cruise because uh, I never get to enjoy my car. So before we actually get into this video, for those of you guys who are wondering what's going on with the new build, um, there is this car I'm really interested in. It's going out, I think, t no, tomorrow. It's going out tomorrow at auction. Um, so hopefully we're gonna figure out what's going on with that. There's also another like cheaper build, but it's gonna be part of this like thing I wanna knock out because I wanna knock out, I wanna own pretty much every single BMW on here. Um, so the main project is going out hopefully if we get it in t tomorrow and then the side project It's probably gonna go out today So it's hopefully at least we get one of them because it'd be kind of cool at least to get a build on the channel ASAP Some of you guys even said you guys want to see the E92 M3 get modified I don't know what it is about a stock clean E92 M3 unmodified low miles but there's something about it that makes you feel like, hey, you know what? It looks like a collector's car, and I have a collector's car, so I'm just enjoying it, if you guys know what I mean. I don't wanna put any aftermarket stuff on it as of right now, but I do absolutely love this car, and I think I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of a POV drive in this thing. Let me just go ahead and get some premium gas, and then head over to some place, and uh, you know, just enjoy the car, and hopefully you guys enjoy it as well. But yeah, first place we gotta go to, guys, is Costco, so let's head there first. Yes, I use Costco gas. There's nothing wrong with Costco gas. something new i'm recording my gopro pretty much upside down i have it in my mouth to be able to record and i think it's a pretty good perspective because normally it's a little too high so i want to kind of get it towards the whole cockpit i think this is a pretty good perspective um but anyways let's go ahead and get some gas first i don't want to you know step on or anything like that and ruin the fuel pump or any or even have any chance of ruining anything i want to have a full tank of premium before we even enjoy it um but yeah guys this thing has been absolutely a dream uh, and i'm a little nervous to actually enjoy this thing today but hopefully hopefully uh everything goes good i mean it is raining as you guys can see um oh dear there's a cop like right there in front of me <laughs> let's just go to costco get some gas and we'll go from there Guys, let's go ahead and just hit the freeway. This car is so much fun. And thank the Lord, the actuators and the raw bearings are done by SSR Performance. This thing honestly drives amazing. Honestly, guys, there's something about driving on a rainy day that I love so much, it's especially like enthusiast driving. It's super, super, super enjoyable. Um, actually, that's the wrong turn. I'm not trying to go all the way to another city. Uh -uh. And I'm not gonna lie, guys, this this car is Michelin Pilot Super Sports, and uh, there's a reason why all my cars should actually have these tires. Like these tires, even in the rain, guys, hold so much traction. Like it's amazing. I turned off DSC, and I was easily able to control this car. And obviously, this car doesn't have turbos either, which makes it a lot easier to control as well. The power and everything. 
is just, it's anticipated. I know exactly when it's gonna hit. That's why I mentioned in my video, guys, why I love this car so much. The power is super easy to handle, um, and it's just a super enjoyable car. I don't know if you guys heard the downshifts. We definitely need to get an exhaust on this car if we end up keeping it long-term, but it just sounds so, so, so good without an exhaust. I know my first one, I did a muffler delete, and it was, and it sounded so crazy. But I, I don't know, if we do end up keeping this car, guys, long-term, I don't know, because you guys know the ultimate goal is the R8. If we do end up keeping this car kind of a little bit long-term, um, I might need to go with the Valvetronic just because I do like my peace and quiet sometimes, but I also love the sound of this engine. So uh, yeah, we'll see, we'll see. that's naturally aspirated is gonna be a great track car. Obviously, if it's not gonna be an M car, it's gonna have, you know, not as much in the power scale. But as someone like me, that I'm not really like that good of a driver, I don't need that much power to actually enjoy the track. Obviously, if, you, if you've if you driven on the track a million times and you're this is like easy peasy, lemon breezy, or a professional driver, you want more power so it's a little more enjoyable. Absolutely, and that's, that's hopefully the goal one day. So guys, again, super, super, super happy on how this car performed and it's just so much fun to drive. Woo. I remember just doing a mufflingly on this car, guys. Changed the game. Just doing a mufflingly on this car was so made it sound so 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 good. And there's an officer right over here. You know, Shane. This car is a hundred percent stock. So you know, your man's not breaking any laws. He's a hundred percent stock. Um, just no front plates, no tints either. Man, this thing's probably the most legit car I've ever owned. <laughs> like even the carbon fiber spoiler that's on in the rear of the car is an M Performance steering wheel from BMW. So like literally there's nothing on this car that is aftermarket, which is, you know, it, it's just cool because as a low mileage E92 M3, I kind of want to keep it this way. I want to keep it kind of more of a collector's car. Um, that's why like with the Valtronic, I'm, I'm kind of okay with that. Just because like if I do want to enjoy the car, I can, but if I don't want to and I want it to be back like a subtle uh, V8 that I, I could with the Valtronic. Honestly guys, Valtronic exhausts are the way to go, but don't think you can't get a ticket for it even when it's off because my friend actually, I saw his YouTube video, um, he actually still got a ticket for a modified exhaust um, even though he wasn't ripping it. The, I guess the officer can recognize a Valtronic exhaust nowadays and uh, uh, you know, about, uh, like it, aftermarket exhausts are either in gold or chrome or wrapped in something um, to where it's noticeable that it's aftermarket and they know even if no sound's coming out of it, it's most likely valve because a lot of the newer cars, um, you have the option of valve your car or not. So uh, yeah, like a clickable button. Officers 
are getting smarter and smarter and smarter. So if I'm trying to, you probably won't get away with it, but I mean, if you see a cop and your car is crazy loud and you turn it off, you might get lucky. Anyways, guys, I am heading back to my place to edit this video for you guys. Um, these daily uploads have been very, very, very enjoyable, but I really want to get a build on this channel. I'm sure a lot of you guys want to get a, uh, you know, a build on this channel as well. We're looking at one major build, hopefully tomorrow, and we're looking at a uh, maybe like a potential build, like a side project later today. So without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.